Hi, welcome to Auto Block Loader installation video. In this video, I'm going to show you how do you upload the uh, plugin you have uh, bought it, and to your WordPress uh, installation. Basically, uh, let's say you have downloaded to your Auto Block Loader to this folder, and you use an FTP program like Qt uh, FTP or FileZero, whatever. And then you open your up auto block loader. You should you should see two strip here, Sh two files here. You basically choose the auto block loader dot php uh, plugin, and then on the right hand side, you go into your WordPress uh, installation. The WordPress installation for plugin basically is the folder name uh, WordPress content. Let's say you install the home directory, you will see a WP dash content. You double click on it, and you double click on plugins, and you choose uh, on the left hand side of the FTP programs. You choose the auto block loader dot PHP file, and you. And then you right click your mouse and choose upload and basically you will upload the program onto your drive I mean onto your uh, WordPress installation now uh, after you upload to your WordPress installation you have to uh, activate your plugin basically you go to your WordPress uh, admin panel type in your username and password and you will log into your admin screen like this one this works with uh, WordPress 2.7 up uh, as you can see I'm using 2.9.1 here with my uh, WordPress uh, installation it, yeah it works on 2.7 it, it has been tested on 2.5 as well, but uh, well, I do recommend you uh, upload your installation because of security reasons. Reasons, and now to uh, activate your plugin, basically you scroll down. You will see a plugins here on the appearance uh, on the uh, left hand side of the panel, second to the appearance. Click on plugins, and you will see the auto block loader here. Basically, you activate it, and okay. After you have activated the plugin, you have to uh, use it. Okay, before you use it, you have to prepare your articles. Okay, uh, let's say. I've got article here on my uh, USB drive, for example. I've got this PR articles, okay, the email marketing. So first, I have to upload the PR articles to my uh, WordPress installation first. Okay, the P. Well, I just want to make a point for the PR articles. You can't have any space or on the first column, so you can't have any space there. You can be any letters, but you can't have a space or new line for your first sentence of your text file. The plugins only works for .txt file. It doesn't work for .doc or .odt, whatever file f it at the moment. Maybe in the future it works for this document as well. But for but at the moment you do it doesn't work for uh, it doesn't work for it only works for .txt file. So you make sure you don't have any sp space on your first sentence. The other thing you want I uh, just want to make a note is uh, these articles you cannot have space well this have space just say uh, just rename it is one two three four whatever you can't have space 
on the article file names. You can have, however, you can have dash like one dash email marketing articles like this one. You can have that, but you can't have space. If you have space there, make sure you rename it. Rename it to email market to whatever name you are comfortable with. Well, I will pause the video for a moment. Okay, after you finish that, you have to upload to the directory. Okay, so let's upload to the directory. Um, well, when you upload, it doesn't really matter what what does what does the article sits on. You can sit on wherever as long as in your domain, okay, in your WordPress domain, okay. So I'll just create a directory of my home domain, home directory. We'll just call it email marketing. Again, the directory can't have any space. You can have dash, or you can have that. But don't leave out space on the directory, otherwise the plugin won't, it's not going to work. Okay, after creating the directory, just upload all the file to that directory. Okay, well, yes, finished. Once finished, go back to your WordPress uh, installation, your I mean control panel, I mean, and you can you uh, click on the plugin, and once you activate your auto block loader plugin, you will see an option on in the plugin saying auto block loader. Just click on it. Okay, this is the uh, auto block loader campaign uh, control panel. Uh, you can see. Okay, to schedule your post, basically you go to you choose the uh, articles you you have uploaded. It, in this case, should be email marketing, and choose the time. Well, let's say this is uh, twenty-eight. Yeah, and then how long you want to post the articles. But for demonstration purposes, I will choose five seconds. And posting categories. Well, in this case, yes, it will be email marketing. And then you will press the post articles. The system will automatically, the plugins will automatically feed those articles into the WordPress block. And then this, just, well, as you can see here, 10 articles posted successfully it will uh well it will put on schedule and it will load up automatically but let's go back to the post the edit edit panel to see if the the uh the plugin loaded successfully as you can see here the 10 posts i have scheduled is all on schedule status this on schedule and it will be posted on the time it was scheduled. Okay, so I pause the video for a moment and and uh, see if see if if this works or not. Okay, as you can see here, the all articles are printed successfully. Three posted successfully, I should say. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching the video.